Hi everyone. Today we're going to demonstrate how a filter cleans water. And we're going to be using Scratch to code this demonstration. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher on coding, I suggest that you go to my YouTube channel. My Learn to Code videos will help you get up to speed uh, with coding in Scratch. And I suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. So anyways, let's get going on our science project for today. So I'm going to go to Scratch. And I'm already here. Scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to hit the Create button because we're creating a brand new project today. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat. So I'm going to click on the garbage can. So goodbye, cat. And to begin, we're going to have to draw a water molecule because there isn't a water molecule in the Sprite library. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click the paintbrush. And I'm going to start drawing a water molecule. So to do that, I'm going to click on the circle application there, circle right there. And I'm going to choose a color. It doesn't matter what color you choose, but I'm going to choose blue since we're making water. And I'm going to make a large circle here in the middle of the screen. Try to make it as circular as you can so that it bounces nicely. And I'm going to line up the two pluses on top of each other so it's centered. Perfect. So there's my oxygen atom right there. So now I'm going to make two smaller hydrogen atoms. And I've got a trick for that. So watch how I do that. So first I'm going to get a different color. Uh, so maybe a nice yellow color like that. Good. I'm going to hit the circle and I'm going to make two circles identical. Watch, I've got a trick to do this. So first I'm going to make a circle here like that. Now look, when I hit the arrow button, you can copy that and paste it. So now I've got two that are identical. And these are my two hydrogen uh, molecule or atoms. So now I've got a water molecule, a large uh, oxygen atom, and two smaller hydrogen atoms. You can add a whole bunch of other stuff to it. You, you might have seen in my um, original video, I've got electrons, neurons, protons, or neutrons, protons there. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple for mine today. So there's my water molecule. I'm going to also shrink it because it's awfully big right now. 100% is too big. I'm going to make mine like 20. Yeah, that looks good. You'll have to decide how big to make yours, uh, depending on how big you drew it over here. So I shrunk mine to about 20. That looks like a good size for now. Hey, I'm going to let everybody uh, catch up. So I'm going to pause for a minute while you draw a water molecule and get it to the right size. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to catch up. Okay, I hope you're having good, some good luck drawing your water molecules. Next, we're going to code the water molecules to all start over here uh, because I'm going to make a thousand clones. I'm not going to duplicate this. I'm going to make some clones, a thousand of them, and they're all going to drift across the screen like this. So we got to get them all to start over here. So first of all, I'm going to make a thousand clones. So when the green flag is clicked, and let me make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see better at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. When the green flag is clicked, now I'm going to go to control, make or create clones of myself. And I'm going to repeat that a thousand times. So I have a thousand clones. So one thousand, thousand clones. When the green flag is clicked, create one thousand clones of myself. And when the clones appear, I want them all to appear over here. So watch how I do that. When I start as a clone, I want them to start way over here, not at zero, zero in the middle, but way over here. So watch what yeah, I use for the coordinates for over here. So go to, I'm going to go to motion, go to, and negative 235 for the X coordinate. That's way over here, negative 235. Watch, when I hit the green flag, it's going to go way over there. Perfect. Uh, but I want them to start maybe at the top or in the middle or at the bottom. So watch how I do the Y coordinates. Up here we know is 180. Down here is negative 180. So I'm going to go to the operators button right now. And I'm going to have it choose a random number when I start as a clone. I better make this smaller. And so the top is 180. The bottom is negative 180. Oops, negative 180. So they should all appear from the top to the bottom all along the side. And then I want them to drift across the screen slowly um, to the other side. So watch how I do that. So I'm going to have it move five steps. Not ten steps. I'm going to have it move five steps. It goes a little bit slower. It looks better. Move five steps and um, repeat a whole bunch of times. So control, repeat. Let's try ten times. I don't know how many I'm going to need, actually. Ready. 
Okay, so when I hit the green flag, we should see a whole bunch of them appear up to a thousand and they're slowly going to go across the screen. Ready, green flag and go. Oh, 10 repeats is not enough. See, that's a thousand clones, but they're stopping here. I need to get them to go all the way across the screen. Plus, look how fast they're moving. That's way too fast, so I got to fix this. So instead of 10 times, I'm going to try like 100 times. I, I'm going to keep it at five steps, but I'm also going to make them wait every time they move. Like wait a small amount of time, like 0 decimal zero 0.5. That seems to always work for me. Ready? So green flag and go. Perfect. Let's see if they go all the way across the screen. Yep, they seem to be going all the way across the screen, except they're, they're, they're stuck there now. I don't like that. Once they get to the end of the screen, what I want them to do is hide. And so look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop for a moment. And I'm going to have them hide when they get to the end. So hide is under the looks button. I'm going to grab the hide and put it right there. And if you ever use a hide, you always have to use a show. So I'm going to put it right there. When I start as a clone, show myself and then hide. And remember, we've got this original right here. I think I'm going to leave that just to demonstrate to people what the water molecule is. Because later I'm going to put a title over here. Water molecule or something like that. So let's see how this looks. Ready? Green flag and go. They should all hide when they get over here. Yep, they're hiding. Perfect. All right. So, hey, I'm just going to pause there. I'm going to let everybody catch up to make sure that your water molecules all clone and spawn on this side of the screen and slowly move across the screen over here. And then, of course, they will hide. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. And, uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, welcome. I hope you're having some luck drawing and coding your water molecules. But um, you might have run into the same weird thing that I have. Like, look, when I hit the green flag, there's so many appearing at once. Uh, once it's so densely packed I don't like that I want to have a little bit of space in there so look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the operators button and I'm gonna have a random number and I'm just gonna have everything wait a little while so some appear right away some wait a little bit so watch how I do that random 1 to 10 seconds maybe I'll even make that longer 1 to 20 seconds so we have a nice long demonstration so um, before they start showing and moving across the street. I'm just going to have them wait a random amount of time. So look, ready, green flag, and go. So now that looks a little bit better. They're not all appearing right at once. They're slowly appearing over 20 seconds. Some of the thousand clones appear right away. Some of them are waiting 20 seconds before they appear and some in between. So they're moving across nicely now. So I think we've coded this water molecule just right. So now look what I'm going to do. Rather than doing a whole new uh, molecule, because if you remember in my original, we have two. We have the water molecules coming across, and we have a contaminant coming across. So we're going to make a contaminant now, so a second molecule. But instead of doing the whole thing over again, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put the mouse pointer right on the water molecule. I'm going to put two fingers on my touchpad and duplicate it. So now I've got two of them. But for the second one, I'm going to change the costume and turn it into the contaminant. So watch how I do that. So I'm on the second one right now. I'm going to change the costume. Instead of blue, I'm going to fill it in a different color. Maybe a red because it's contaminant. Red seems to work nicely for that. So there we go. So I've got the bucket. I'm going to fill inside red. Uh, I might add a couple more um, uh Adam, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to change. No, you know what? Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this one and copy and paste. Maybe one more. Copy and paste. So now I've got four atoms on this one. This is the contaminant. So there we go. So now we've got our water molecule there. We've got a contaminant. And I'm going to make the contaminant a little bit bigger because we're going to put in a filter shortly. And the filter only lets in small water molecules. Bigger molecules like our contaminant, which is a little bit bigger, can't fit through the filter. So I not only changed the water molecule, I duplicated and changed it. So now it has four different atoms. It's a different color and it's a larger size. The water molecule is small. The contaminant is large. So I'm going to let you do that. And remember, I um, changed the code for the water molecule. So it waits a random amount of time. So they slowly start to appear, not all at once. 
And then I duplicated the water molecule and I changed the size of the water molecule. I'm not quite done yet, but I'm going to pause there and let everybody catch up, okay? All right, next we're going to add a carbon filter so that the water molecules, I mean the, yeah, the water molecules can get through, but the contaminant gets trapped by the carbon filter. So now I've got to get the filter. And so what I'm going to use is the paddle sprite. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go way down here. I'm going to look for the paddle. It's a green line paddle right there. Perfect. So now I'm going to turn it and expand it, the size, so that it fits all the way across the screen. So look how I'm, how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the Costumes button. This is going to take a little bit of fiddling. And I'm going to grab the arrow, and I'm going to grab, click on it, and see there's a little, uh, um, those little arrows down there? I'm going to grab it and turn it. Perfect. And I'm going to just straighten it out so it's perfectly straight. There we go. Nice. Now it's exactly uh, vertical. Now I'm going to make the screen a bit bigger using the magnifying key there. And I'm going to grab the top of it and expand it all the way to the top of the screen and grab the bottom of it and expand it all the way to the bottom of the screen. So there we go. There's my carbon filter right there. I can move it anywhere I want. So the carbon filter is done. I don't have to code anything except I'm going to make it appear in front. So anything that goes through it, it goes like kind of behind it. So watch how I code the, because um, otherwise these will go in front. See how that's in front right now? I want it to go behind. I don't want it to go in front. So uh, I'm going to go to the paddle and I'm going to code it like this. When a green flag is clicked, this is an easy one. Under the looks button, go to front, go to front layer. So anything that goes through it is going to go behind it. So there's that one done. So I'm almost done for today. Look what I got to do with the, um, the contaminant now. So the contaminant is going to get stuck right here. So instead of 100 repeats, I'm going to choose a number like 60 or 65 or something like that. Watch what's going to happen when I repeat only 60 times. It's going to stop right here. Okay, green flag and go. Watch the contaminant. It's not going to go all the way across the screen. Oh, it's hiding. You know what? I don't want the contaminant to hide. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the hide button out of there. I want the contaminant to appear as if it gets stuck on this carbon filter. So it's got to stay showing. So the uh, contaminant, see how it stops there? Now I'm going to grab this carbon filter and move it over a little bit. Just move it over right to, oops. Um, Grab it and move it over right there. So now it's going to look like the filter is stopping the contaminants. Ready, green flag, and go. Okay, the water should go through our carbon filter. Yep, and it looks like the filter is preventing the contaminant from getting through. So that's pretty good. The, uh, the paddle is easy. I just changed a couple of little things on the contaminant. So instead of 100 times, it's only going 60, so it stops there, and it doesn't hide. It kind of looks like it's getting stuck there. So I'm going to let you um, do that. If you get stuck, look at my screen here, and uh, I'll be back for the last little part. So good luck with that. Okay, the final finishing steps we need to do is to add some titles. You can even add some music if you want. I always like to add a little bit of music, so some kind of a loop. So let's look at my original project. You'll notice that I have a number of words here. I have the words carbon filter, and it's pointing at the paddle that we have, so filter. I wrote the word pure water molecules, and I had the original, not the clone. I had the original appear right here, so we know that this is a pure water molecule. And then I had the word contaminant written here near the original one of these ones. So now everybody watching knows exactly what's going on. That the carbon filter is preventing the contaminant from getting through. Much like you get in a municipal water system. And the water can get through. So um, to finish off, add some words, some titles, and uh, a little bit of music. And I hope you enjoyed that one. And I look forward to seeing you at our next science project. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.